What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Football Capital. I am Borche. Today, I am joined with Seba and the Liverpool fan, Damien, on the Liverpool and Chelsea preview. Lads, how are we? Good, good, bro. You must be st- ecstatic after a 2-0 victory to Sheffield. Big, I mean, I can't say the same for us. With a snow fest at Stanford Bridge. You know what I mean? Isn't but it always uh, when it's a top six match? Hey? Isn't it always when we play top yeah, six? Yeah, I know. Like we, can't, we haven't scored yet. From open play, but that's another that's another story. But we got um, yeah, li- um, who's at home? Liverpool's at home. So Liverpool versus Chelsea now, boys. The last time these two teams met, Liverpool won two nil at home. Mane double. I think it was that eh? round two. Round two. Yeah, something like, off, something top like that. Head, yeah. off the top of my head. <laughs> if I remember correctly. <laughs> um, but yeah, lads, look. Mane double. Before, before we. <laughs> <laughs> you might be correct <laughs> Four minutes apart uh, Look before we go on to Liverpool Let's touch uh, a little bit on Chelsea New manager has come in That was uh, eight games now without a loss um, What are your thoughts on Chelsea and Tuchel Or Tuchel 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 yeah, and I think they're um, Yeah they're starting to play like a, a decent brand of football Like you can kind of see the style that he's implementing And they're getting some decent results as well So yeah, any positive things for them? Do, you know what, though? Like, honestly, in my opinion, I don't really see much of a difference. Like, in terms of their football, I, mean, I know it's going to take time. It's only, what, eight, eight games in or eight games since he's, he's uh, taken over. Mm. Um, but in terms of the results they've been getting, I, I literally think Lampard would pro- would have probably got the same results, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, I don't know, look... He's been look. You can't complain. He hasn't lost. Yeah, yeah he hasn't lost yet. So has he only cop like one goal? Maybe. I, I think, don't know. Uh, I believe that's correct. Possibly, but um, what look, what, what are your thoughts well, on him? I mean, look, he's <coughs> the res, it's a results business. Um, he's get he's not losing. He drew no nil to United, which is like as we come to expect. Um, but they're winning. They're not copping goals. What more could you ask for? Do you, do you guys think, because I always talk about um, these records that clubs have, right? Like, yeah, do, you, do you guys think that a lot of the teams or managers are focusing more on what the record is in the actual game? Like, like for, e- for example, like with Liverpool, the whole focus and uh, the media kind of jaded up a little bit. Liverpool's unbeaten run. Do you know what I mean? Like when there were 20 games unbeaten at home, there wasn't a much of a hype there when it came to 40. And then he came to 68. And then they, verse, they happened to versus United, right? And it's like, it was it was a 68 games when they played United. Was around there. And the whole, the whole game was literally about, is United going to stop this run? About, and, and then, to me, I thought Liverpool in that game against United were actually thinking about that record and maybe even Klopp was a little bit thinking about let's just not lose this home record kind of thing and then you go into the the next game at home against against uh, Burnley and you end up losing and then I don't know after and even with even with Chelsea a little bit like do you reckon that if he comes in if Tuchel comes in and now he's got what, eight games unbeaten is he because to me it looked like against United it's like oh let's just not lose I want to keep this unbeaten run going are we are these managers focusing like United? It's like we got this un, uh, unbeaten run away that we can't lose. So it's like you get games like this where yeah, Tuchel doesn't want to lose. Eight games is not a time to start thinking about a streak. And yeah, but do you guys reckon streak. that that plays a part? I don't know. I don't, I don't think, think so, man. So. I think it's just mark because it just it just feels it yeah. just feels like you got to sell the game to the people, and that's how you yeah. sell it. But you look like the the, the journalists <laughs> always ask the players that question. They always give the same like stock standard answer. You know, oh, we just focus one game at a time, and I believe that. But I also believe that, like when the game's finished, that's the first thing they'll think of is oh, the streak is still alive or the streak is dead. But like it can't change your preparations for a, for a football game because the the sport itself doesn't care how many how many wins or losses yeah, you're you, on in a row. Do you think the players has gone to the players said like especially for Liverpool? That mentality of that we don't lose at home now becomes more pressure not to not to lose this record, and then you've seen it like with with Liverpool, 
you lost that first game. Now you've lost four four home yeah. games in a row. It's like the floodgates. Which is, I don't know how long that's happened. Like when the last yeah, time that's I happened. Really in I do reckon it does get to players' <laughs> heads a little bit, especially when you it's such a big record. Um, and you got them, and it's like them. It's not so much that the, they're probably thinking about it the whole game, but it's that the little brain snap that you had, maybe with Allison. Not so much because against Man City, you're not always expected to win them games, regardless where you're playing. But then the games against like who who you got you lost to like the Burnley game, especially Sheffield. that Burnley game. No, not Sheffield. Who did you lose to after that? Southampton. Who lost to? But was yeah. it, that was away though. I think that was before that though. But in them games like Brighton, Everton. Like even against games like Everton, you know what I mean? Like, are we are we focusing too much on all that Everton hasn't won here in in so long? In twenty one years, haven't been in Liverpool at Anfield. Liverpool's like home record. Like I don't know. To me, I think a lot of these teams are starting to focus more on records than um, actually playing the game game of football. Yeah. In my opinion, yeah, but know, we we have two shoes. That's what I reckon. I reckon like but for it's him, like, it's, it's eight games. You reckon they're at that point? No, no, like but like. Games. As a manager, you don't want to come in and lose your first game. Like if he comes in against Wolves, that first game against Wolves where he got nil or, like, as a as a manager going into this game, it's like, oh, just don't lose. Because nah, no manager, you wa- win, no manager wants to come in and be like, oh, oh, we lost the first game. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but what, what's a nil nil draw do for a, for a debuting manager? Nothing. Yeah, like especially I'd against Wolves, who don't have their best player, who's who's been out for the whole season. Yeah, I don't know. I, I reckon. I reckon these I, results I don't, I don't might play a bit of a part. But um, look, like you said, it it, it is about results. Um, Chelsea slowly climbing up the table. I think only through is it three points off the of fourth. Off fourth was it? They're not far. They they've closed the gap. You know what I mean? Compared to where they were, I think they were nine. They yeah, were nine points. Yeah, they were points. starting to slide. Oh, let me get to this table. Yeah, they were starting to slip away. One point. One point behind. There you uh, go. Yeah. There you go. One and point. And West Ham, who's just going to slip up. Well, they got, yeah, yeah West Ham have yeah. leads <laughs> this weekend. But there you go. Like, Liverpool <laughs> Liverpool is one point behind behind Chelsea. and um, It's a big game. Three points puts them back into the top four. But yeah, <laughs> you, look at, you look at, like, one one point difference. Look at, look at the last five games. The form is just complete opposite. It's incredible. Yeah, and that's where we, yeah, that, that's... Where the problems lie for Liverpool, and I think some of them are they all home games, home one away, see so yeah, away game to Leicester, they're that three one, the big big defeats as well, not just you know City that four one as well. But look, Liverpool, you reckon that win now, kind of they have to push on from this. I mean, I know it was only Sheffield United, but regardless what injuries you have, you should be beating them. <laughs> yeah, that's. Probably no, really, no, I really. Yeah. With, with the team, with the team should, that. If you're a big club, you got be winning those but games. But Sheffield had like seven players I, out no, as well. But I so. just, I, like, okay, I scoffed because I was thinking like, you should win that game 100%, but we didn't. But we didn't, yeah. yeah. So like, yeah, yeah, of course, but we should. we're not meant to, but we're not the best team in England. Oh, well, we can't beat the best teams or the worst teams. <laughs> <Yeah, again. so laughs> and we're, somehow we're still <laughs> in that spot second, but anyways. Um, what, are you, what are your thoughts, man? Has this now, did you say, did you say much in the Leipzig game and the Sheffield United game to say, you know what, against Chelsea? You know, we might have the number and it's at home and you don't want to be losing all five games in a row at home as well. Yeah, like the five games in a row, to be honest, it's like we said, you know, maybe a marketing thing, social media thing. I don't really think that impacts them too much. But going back to the Leipzig game, like we could have been down one nil within the first five minutes. I think that a diving header hit the post. Could have been like a disaster for us there. Um, but the win in the Premier League, like, yeah, maybe a bit of a confidence booster, um, which will help the side. But what's probably been the same thing the whole season, like injuries have played a part. Now maybe we can have a consistent back four um, with the new guy from Turkey coming in. Do you like him? Yeah, come back. Do you like him? Yeah, I don't know, man. He's had a shit time since he got um, here. You know what? Can't say yet. My thing with him is, is, yeah, it's like um, I feel like they bought, bought him in for like for the future kind of thing when really they needed someone now. now, like someone established now. Yeah. But imagine his his mentality right now. So he's walked into a team who, would, you said 68, 60 games, like unbeaten, and then he, he finally signs for the club. He'd probably be cheering. He's been starting and they lose every game. I wonder uh, if he it, feels but did a I think he signed, responsibility uh, for that. Uh, no, I think he signed after they lost them games though. Yeah, he signed at the end of the sure. end of the, the end of January. Like, yeah, so I think they already lost, yeah. Yeah, they they already lost two games, two home games or something. But yeah. um. Well. Then he can't. Yeah, he comes in. 
And like he comes in, doesn't even start that first game. That yeah, he didn't. And then he starts against less than calamity at the back. <laughs> um, look, what, what can you say, really? But um, look, to be honest, I don't know that signing. That signing to me was it a panic buy? Was it something for the future? I don't. I don't know. I don't really. Didn't really make sense, especially getting someone from Schalke that they've won one game in one year. Yeah, I think it was. And just they've been copying yeah. goals, four nils, five nils, three like minimum three goals a game. Schalke were copying. Do you know what I mean? So. Didn't really make sense, but you never know. Look, this could be this could work out from now to the end of the season if he's stays then stays fit. You don't have more injuries in that department. You never know. That top that top four spot is obviously um, is still there for the taking. But um, if we look at the last five, is it the last five meetings with Chelsea and Liverpool? Chelsea haven't won a game. The last game was two 0 like we just spoke about. Last season's game was a five three. Then you had the 2-1 to Liverpool at Stamford Bridge the year before that, 2-0, and then that one all. So history shows that Liverpool have got the upper hand, but current form, you got to say Chelsea. Chelsea did ha- have a good win in the Champions League as well, um, 1-0. Great great bicycle from um, Giroud. Mm-hmm. And you know what? When we played Chelsea in the weekend, my only worry was Giroud. Do you know what I mean? Like, Because he, he's a player that can come on and ch- score a goal out of nothing. Do you know what I mean? Out of nothing. Um, but Chelsea's got options. Like, do you reckon? Do you reckon he's he, he's using the, his subs right and the way he's filling in the team? Like against United, for me, Werner should should have started because the spaces that he was like he would have got, yeah. especially with United playing that high line, literally like Harry Maguire was like making runs almost outside the, their box. That's how much space and time that we had. Yeah. And with Werner there, and we've seen we've seen when it was in Germany the runs that he makes, and we've seen that in the Premier League as well. And I don't think maybe if he was on the on the opposite side from um, Wambasaka, maybe he can get him behind, especially up against Maguire and Lindelof. So like, and some of the substitutions that he made, I wasn't. I think he kind of played a little bit safe. That's what I mean about yeah. we go into the last fifteen minutes and like don't lose this one. Yeah. If you're like a target man like Giroud. And then you have Werner playing off him. That's where I think the problems, they can cause a lot of problems for a lot of teams. The, the thing for me is, is <laughs> the timing of not starting him finally. And it's a big game and then he's benched. Like that would probably just bring him straight back down. He managed to get a goal last week, wasn't it? Or the week before. Yeah. Finally. Um, so to, to... Just though as well. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I know. But it counts. It counts. That's it. But um, you just wonder if he's kind of down on his luck and he's, you know, in his head a bit now. Uh, he needs confidence. And, you know, I wonder if he's going to start against Liverpool. Who knows? I would. I'd start him. Yeah, I'd start him too, for sure. Oh, it's, yeah, that's, and it's very similar reasons to why you would start him against United because now with their new centre-back pairing, again, like what's that? I know you guys have like 18 different pairings, 19 different pairings, whatever that may be. But um, you got – you put someone else in there. Like, sorry, you put uh, Werner that can run at him, get him behind. He could, he could cause problems. And I'm not sure if Alisson's playing – I don't I'm think not. He will. You don't. Th- yeah. So again, but he didn't travel, right? He had to stay in the country because he wasn't allowed to go. Well, yeah, he wasn't allowed, allowed to go out. To yeah. yeah, I think he'll play then. To be honest with you, yeah, he didn't play last game. Yeah, I mean, Adrian yeah, didn't have fresh. much to do, but it was just happened. You know what I mean? Now he's got a bit of time, and and he'd want to kind of get his life back going and move on. So I think, yeah, you, you reckon play. he'll play? You're, is that what you're saying? I'll say he'll play. Yeah, I don't Any. think he will, man. Don't think so. No. I don't think so. No. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> but um. Yeah, look, that would be a big loss. I mean, Alisson, yeah. even though he's, he hasn't had the best of times, I think we all know what kind of keeper he is anyways. Still want him in goals, for sure. For, sure. for Liverpool, <coughs> how are you winning this game? What? <laughs> and obviously, your front three need to be there, need to show up. But mm. Man, for us, like, even over the past few years, we've always had a habit of like beating the bigger teams. So it wouldn't surprise me if we turn up and do them by three. You know, it wouldn't surprise me at all. Um I think, yeah, obviously the front three need to turn up. But I reckon if we win the game in the midfield, um, yeah, that's how we'll win the game. Who starts in your midfield now is, a, is another question. Because, like, you got players coming back. Thiago didn't – he played the last game, but he didn't start in the Champions League, was it? No, he, he didn't, didn't start. Um, is it mm. – do you put someone in like Thiago in against Chelsea? Because remember the last time he played, I know Chelsea were had a red card – um, and then he came on at, in second half and made the world record passes or forty something passes. <laughs> and the no, he did. I think he got the record or some record that in ha- in forty five minutes he made the most passes. Um, do, are you guys looking? 
you reckon to star him and maybe yeah, I'd I don't know. Him. I'd, I'd start him. <laughs> There's a lot of shit online, but like of of course. Course. most of it's from me. <laughs> most of it's from <laughs> but, but um, who, who starts next to him? Genie has to start, in my opinion. Yeah, I think Genie is a bit of a workhorse. Probably one of the most skillful midfielders that yeah. we have, I'd say. Also, maybe a bit underrated too. Super underrated. So and then you got the yeah, he is. He is. I reckon he is so, so underrated. Underrated. And by his his contract's running out. I don't know why you guys are sorting that out, or he's going to go on free to Barca. I'm not too sure. Yeah, I don't know. It looks. I like mean, everyone's getting really arrested at Barcelona. <laughs> everyone's accused of allegations. Scumbag club. That's what. Yeah. <laughs> allegations. <laughs> allegations. Suck yeah. Shit. Um, what are we saying? But who? You remember Messi was almost going to go to jail back in the day. Bro, yeah, fraud him. Club. What about Mourinho? Yeah, bro, club. nothing yeah, beats Mourinho. Did. United signed Mourinho as new manager, and like he can't make the second game because he's got to go to court <laughs> in, in Spain for tax fraud. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> but um, and who else? Do you reckon Curtis Jones starts in? He yeah, had a man. good game last game. Curtis Jones is looking good. <laughs> like it's another one where he's performing, but he's still young. I think we've got to remember that. Um. If he doesn't start, he definitely comes on at some point in the yeah, match. Yeah, so he'll see he'll see football. I don't think I'd start him though. I reckon because he did start in the Champions League, um, I'd, I'd start him on the bench. Maybe bring him on, you know, sixtieth minute or something like that. I reckon. I reckon, start him, because you never know. The like, I know you guys got all these injuries, but sometimes it could be a blessing in disguise. I mean, it gets a few games under his belt, and then next thing you know, he's. Probably like one of your next stars, you know what I mean? And you do always see the work rate from the younger guys always. Yeah, smile. and you, you've seen it with. They have to make an do you remember when? Do you remember when Martial a couple of years ago got injured in the warm up against City? And um, yeah. no, it wasn't. It was sorry, it was against Michelin in the in the Europa League. I remember. Then we got who's this Marcus Rashford kid that's coming on? Bags two goals. Next game against City wins like wins the Arsenal. derby. Oh yeah, Arsenal. Yeah, Arsenal. yeah that's right. The double against, against Arsenal, Arsenal, and then and then um against City. So you never know. Like this could be a blessing in disguise getting some of these players in. I mean, you got your players like Trent back. It looks like he's picking up a bit of form. Um, Robbo, he hasn't really lost form, but he hasn't really been the best either. It's just no. Nah, what it is 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 that like <laughs> all these players get there. You know they're they're big guys. Uh, when you set the standard so high, you know exactly. No, no but like he hasn't been ba- like that's what I mean. Yeah, he hasn't been assists. hasn't been um hasn't been too bad. But coming back in, man, like I don't know, I don't know. Even with some of the the players that Chelsea have, look, they look a bit shaky, man. I don't see like I don't know, like like I was saying with Tuchel, they're going to win the game, and I think he, he takes off like Hudson Odoi and puts in Rich James. So you're going with fight, you're you're stacking the back even more. Yeah. And um, I don't know. I, I reckon I reckon Chelsea might struggle in this game, especially if that front three is on, because on their day, it's just it's but just too. And you've seen it, like you've seen it, like um, uh, in against that Sheffield game. It's like who do we pick up? We, all right, we'll, we'll stack players on Mane, we'll stack players on Salah, but then Firmino gets or a deflection yeah. and goal, or whatever. But he's there where he needs to be. He frees up your other players. Yeah, they've like, been there, uh, but it's kind of been that year where there's. Haven't clicked. Yeah, the fifty-fifty chances just haven't gone our way. So, <laughs> it's they're not on the same there. wavelength. That's what it is. It's the connection that's not not quite quite going. I thought they were the best front three in the world. <laughs> they were the best man. Couldn't the best, the best manager of, of any sport ever. <laughs> 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 Gridiron, <laughs> <laughs> tennis, Chuck on Shala. Um, <laughs> yeah, like, I think Chelsea. Like, if I was the manager, I'd be looking to use the players I have. In the best way possible. So, like, you look at Giroud, for instance, and he played every World Cup game, didn't score a goal, had an amazing tournament. Key player. Key player. Key player, 100%. 100%. But, and they should use him the way that he plays for France and kind of like uh, Werner, how Griezmann plays with, with, yeah, with yeah. Giroud. And, yeah. and that could get some results. That could be something dangerous. Have And it takes the, the pressure. Like, Giroud getting more of the ball will take off the pressure from <laughs> Werner. You know? And, cause and also, then you, leave, vision. Like then you leave players like, depends if... Um, Kai Havertz is playing, and if you got uh, yeah. Zich maybe on one side or even Pulisic, leaves them free. And Bro, there's so many options that they could use. I, you like know what? Actually, looking at it's crazy. Yeah, actually, it's crazy. looking at some of these players, like Bro. player for player, kind of looks pretty even. They got one of the strongest teams in the Premier League, yeah. like on paper, 100. percent Even the defense, to me, like they've been quite good. Like you know, like I don't rate Zuma, but he's had a good year. He can be good. Yeah. Rudy got Rudy goes all right. Like he, you know. They they're changing their well, they got a lot of options in the left and right backs as well. Like they got two starters on each side, really. Yeah, you know. So the potential's there, and I feel like they could pick and choose a team for every single team in the Premier League, including Liverpool, including even Man City. I just feel like they don't have the belief. There's something missing from them, and you know what? That's something that Liverpool could capitalize on. Like take it to them. 
I don't know, man, a lot of signings for Chelsea, but it's kind of like a FIFA team, you know? Yeah, yeah. They just players <laughs> from there, but... Manager mode, yeah. They don't have that green line chemistry, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's, all, it's all red, man. <laughs> but, um, yeah, look, that's... But then, you know, really, if you look at player by player, there's not much of a difference. Like, obviously, the front three is a lot better, but then you, then you see, all right, we know what Havertz can do. We know what Werner can do. If they choose to to pick this game as their moment to to say you know what we're gonna take this top four and we're running with it you know we're, we're not we're not looking back especially with the the form they're in like we already said um you know three wins two draws in the last five you know not not too bad at all they haven't lost in that was uh, eight games like we already mentioned mm. um i don't know is there gonna be a midfield battle is it gonna be is it gonna be all about the players up front to be honest i think liverpool's back lines even with the injuries, I think they're a bit stronger. I don't know. Because I know Tushu always changes it up. You reach James, you've got um, Christensen. Alon- Alonso's come back in now. You know, he rates him. But one thing that Tushu doesn't got is Neymar and, and Mbappe. That's the, that's the thing that, uh, at PSG that I think he really relied on. And um, he doesn't got players like Verratti in the, in, in the midfield. Yeah, but he's Kante. Kante. Yeah, but I think Kante has lost his legs a little bit this season, a little bit, Maybe. especially the start of the season against United. I think he was he did decent, but he hasn't he hasn't had that consistency this year. Um, who was who also they going? Kovacic. Then you got Jorginho, Jorginho. as well. Sometimes he's got so many players. He's got so many players, but yeah, roster. It's crazy. Yeah, I don't. This game can go either way. It'll I personally, be than the if we look at if we're gonna go into our predictions and pick scores. I can see I can see Chelsea getting a result, but I can't see I can't see Liverpool losing. I can't see Liverpool losing another game at home. I think the like like we're talking about records, yeah, yeah, yeah. this record of five games now in a row, yeah, and who knows? It's, they're probably you know the, the commentators will come out. They haven't had five get losses at home since eighteen fifty six or something <laughs> like that. You know what I mean? Since yeah. the club was formed, they've never lost this many games at home, and I think they're gonna feed off that. They go like you know what. We're not, we can't lose this game. And to be honest, I reckon whoever gets the first goal could end up winning this game because if if Liverpool score the first goal, I think it's game over. If Chelsea if Chelsea score the first goal, I think it could be yeah, game over. But that, yeah. that's what my my opinion. I don't see Chelsea coming back if Liverpool do score because then once they Chelsea start bringing throwing players forward, you leave that back line exposed for a counter attack, and we've seen Salah. So many times, especially last year, pissed me off so many fucking times. Just all, done nothing all game, and then gets a goal. He's done it this season though. Yeah, yeah. been non-existent the whole game, and then bang two goals, and end up winning it. So if I go, if I'm, if I'm to give my prediction, I want to get Liv- maybe Liverpool two 0 again in this game. Two 0 in the first game they versed each other. I think two 0 again. I think. I can't see him losing at home again. I can't even see him dropping a point. To be honest, I think yeah. Klopp is gonna be is gonna turn it on. I think they got a lot to play for now. I think um, uh, whether Allison plays or not, I think again they're gonna be playing for him. Hundred uh, percent. We saw when Curtis was it Curtis Jones scored. Someone pulled out the jersey or not? Yeah, uh, might have been a, dedicated his goal. Yeah, yeah at the interview. Sorry, yeah. yeah, that's right. You're correct. So they got a lot to play for, man. And obviously, top four when you look at table wise. Mm. Um, Look, I think comf- they're going comfortable into the Champions League. I'm, uh, I'm not sure if they're playing next week. Is it Champions League next week? I'm yeah. not sure. So full strength team as much as they can in this one and then maybe rest a few players in the next game. Thoughts? I'll go, I'll go to you before we get the Liverpool <laughs> prediction. All right. Um, yeah, I, I think <coughs> that form is a bit, a bit big to overturn. And it's at home, but there's no fans. You got no fans. I feel like... Uh, <laughs> I feel like Chelsea's going to win this one. I do. It's because you've got your multi on. Uh, that's also. Uh, that's, uh, that's why. <laughs> I want Chelsea to win this score, game. Quick score line. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go 2-0 as well, to be honest. Well, I, win. I, I just feel Obviously, like uh, yeah, I feel right. like they'll get, like you said, the first the first thing to score will win it. I see like Chelsea getting a, getting a goal in the first half and then the pressure will keep piling and piling and then like Liverpool will just make a mistake and then bam. So pretty much opposite, killed. opposite kind of to me. Where are you going with this one? Liverpool, is it, <laughs> is it going to be another W or are you guys just going to take another L? I think um, Liverpool 3-1, I'd say. I reckon we go up 3-0, to be honest. Chelsea score a late one, maybe Penalty. Giroud head or something like that. Penalty, Jorginho. Jorginho. Yes. <laughs> but, um, 
Yeah, man, it can go either way. It can, yeah, definitely can. If our front three is on, we could put five past any team. But yeah, it's kind of been that that season they haven't really linked up. But still, I reckon at home, which doesn't really make a difference with the fans or not. But yeah, like they want to play for Allison, I think, and um, yeah, three one Liverpool. So there you go, guys. Two, uh, two got margins across the board. Yeah, that's it. So, but, uh, so two unders, but unders and then one over. So yeah, going, going over, over <laughs> three point over three point <laughs> five goal <laughs> goal fest. But um, look, yeah, that 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 game will wrap up literally the the next round. I think it is. Yeah, after a double game week, guys, get all your thoughts in the comments. My voice is already gone, mate. Jeez, um, <laughs> pains you to talk just about Liverpool. A hundred percent. But guys, get all your thoughts down in the comments. Who do you who do you guys think is gonna win? Liverpool or Chelsea and who out of them two are making top four or maybe both let us know guys once again thanks for joining thanks bro and we'll get you back on the review see his predictions came through guys thanks a lot